Hi everybody. Today I will show you how to make logo slider in Elementor. So let's just begin. All right. So now you can see here we are inside our WordPress dashboard and and to create the logo slider we have to go inside the plugin and we have to add a new plugin here and you have to make sure one thing that Elementor plugin must be installed on your WordPress. Okay. Now I have to search for Elements Kid in the plugin. All right, so as you can see here, the plugin Elements Kid Elementor Add-ons, okay, by VP Med. So you have to install this plugin. So I have already installed this, so I just have to activate this. All right, so now as you can see that Elements Kid Lite is actually activated. All right, so now what I need to do, I will actually go into the pages. I will select all pages, and I will actually edit this page with the Elementor. Alright, so now you can see here that we are in the Elementor page. Okay, as you can see here. So what I need to do to add the logo slider. First of all, I have to add a section here and it will be the full width. So now what I need to do, I have to search for logo. Okay, and as you can see here, we have the client logo. So I have to click on it here. And it will create the logo slider for us. Okay, so now I have to add the logos in our logo slider. Okay, so the first one would be WordPress. Second one would be WooCommerce. And third one would be Elementor. And last one would be Google. All right, and I will delete the title number five. So as you can see, okay, so I have to click on this again. Okay, so as you can see here that I have added the four titles to our logo slider. Now what I need to do, I have to add the logo image. To, okay, so how can we do that? We just have to click on the choose image and we have the WordPress. I will choose the WordPress here. And I will also enable the hard logo. It will actually add a new image when I hover our logo. Okay, so I have to add an image here. So I just want to add the colorful WordPress here. All right. So now you can see here when I just hover over my WordPress logo, it will convert itself into the colorful WordPress logo. Okay. So this is how we can add the logo to our logo slider. And in the similar way, I would add the images in other titles as well. Okay. So let me just finish this thing quickly. All right, so now you can see here, I have added the images in all of our titles here. So in the first one, I have added the WordPress logo. In the second one, I have added the WooCommerce logo. And in the third one, I didn't add the Elementor's logo. So I just added the other pictures just to get the idea. Okay, in the last one, I have added the Google's logo. All right, so this is how we can create the logo slider. Now let's just explore the settings of our slider here. So, okay, in the slide style, uh, you can see here we have the two styles first one is a simple and the second one is the banner all right but both of the styles look so similar okay so i just go with the simple one here and now i just want to mess around with the settings okay so in the settings we have a spacing light uh, left right okay so it would add the spaces between our logos okay so i will just go back to the uh, default value okay so in the second option you can see here slides i want to show i just want to go with two slides right now all right i think three would be defined okay so the third option is slides to scroll it simply means how many slides or the logo should move in a single uh, slide okay so right now it's a one but we can increase it to the two and the three uh, it's up to you but i will just go back to the one here so now we have the option to auto play all right so as you can see here that our slider is actually on the auto play mode so i just uh, disable this and it won't auto play the slides now okay so you will see the difference now okay so let's just enable the auto playing okay so as you can see the speed of auto playing which is around the one second and so if i just want to pause the slider on her i would just simply enable this option otherwise i will enable this option okay so now you can see that even i hover on the slider it is still sliding okay there is no stop here i would just enable this right now and if i want to show the arrows i would just simply enable this you can see the arrow here and if i want to enable the infinite loop it would actually create the loop 
and in the last one is show dots okay so it will actually show dots here okay as you can see the dots here so let's just disable this and in the additional options we have the rows so how many rows i want to show so the default value is a one row so i can make it a uh, two rows as well all right but now it won't slide okay so let's go back to the single row all right so these are the options in the setting which you can play with okay so now what we need to do i would actually go in the style so in the style we have the two options the container and the logo if you want to style the logo you can actually manipulate the values here okay so the first one is the background type so i would actually go with the classic and i would add the background okay so as you can see the background here i can change the color to the black to the red all right so this is how you can actually change the background color of the logo if you want to add and i just want to remove this right now all right you can even add the image if you want okay so the second thing is we have the border radius. So if you want to add the border radius to our logo, you can actually add the values here. And you can see the change in the radius of our logo here. All right. So let's just go back to the zero again. And you can add the margin to your logo if you want to add. And you can add the padding to your logo if you want to add. And you also have the box shadow and you also have the border type. So right now it is actually default. So I would simply go with the solid. And now you can see that we have the width of the border and we also have the color of the border. So you can add up these values as well. Okay. But right now I would just put uh, the value to the default. All right. So I think it's good enough. And you can also increase or decrease the opacity. Okay. As you can see here of logo. All right. So now let's just go to the settings of container. Okay, so in the container, we have the padding, we have the margin, we have the minimum height, and we have the background type. Okay, so in the background tag, you have the classic and you have the gradient. So if you want to add the gradient, you can add it from here. If you want to add a simple color or the image to your background, you can add it from here. Okay, just like uh, we did in the logo setting. Okay, so you can add the padding here and you can add the margin here. Okay, you can also define the minimum height here as well. And in the advanced setting, uh, you would also have the settings of layout, motion effect, transform, background, border, mask, responsive, attribute, custom CSS. So the custom CSS is only enabled in the pro version of this plugin. And we also have the attribute which is only available in the pro version. Okay, so you can hide the slider on desktop, tablet portrait and mobile portrait as well if you want to enable this. If you just want to hide the slider on any particular device, you can simply enable it from here. Okay, so we also have the mask. Okay, so if I add the mask here, and now you can see here our slider is in the circle mask. So you can go with the flower. Okay, so you have the, a lot of different options, but we won't be messing around with this. So let's just uh, disable this. And we have the borders. Let's just add the border, and it would add the border to the whole container of our slider okay you can add the width color border radius and the box shadow as well so just go back to the default value and we also have the background and now you can see that in the background you can add the color if you want to all right uh, but right now i just go back to the default value you can add the gradient from here okay the so first color and the second color okay so this is how it works now we're going to go in the transform. So if you want to rotate something, you can actually rotate the things. Now you can see this. Okay. And you can also scale it. You can also skew it. You can also flip to the horizontal. You can also flip it to the vertical. So let's just uh, put the value to the default in a rotate. Okay. That's pretty cool. And we also have the motion effects. Okay. So what should be the entrance animation? So I just want to add the zooming in. And as you can see here, that the inter animation is the zoom in but i would actually put this to the default value which is none okay and we also have the layout so we can also set the margin padding width of the layout and we can also mess up with the position of our layout okay but i won't recommend you to mess up with any of these values all right so this is how we create the logo slider in elementor so let's just update this and now i will just go back to the elementor page let me just view page here. 
All right, so now you can see our logo slider here and this is how it works. And this is how you can create the logo slider in Elementor. Okay, and if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel.